everybody. Thank you for joining us on Tuesday night on our Tuesday night with friends. I am so excited to be doing this circus peacock painting this evening. It is actually one of my original flower pops from when I first started. And I went to the FAE, Fluid Art Experience, and just got back and decided that I would um, bring this video back, kind of go through the process. I want to thank Jennifer from the Fluid Art Experience. This was the painting that I took to display in Tara's room, and she purchased it. You'll see a picture of Jennifer and I at the end of this video, and I will have more videos coming up with the Fluid Art Experience where I met amazing people. Love every single one of the people that I met, and I thank you to Tara. It was an amazing experience. So let's go through our colors. Um, we are going to start out going with um, the two and a half parts or three parts flow of trial to, wa uh, to paint. And this is Artist Loft Metallic Purple. And then I've got um, some Delta Flash Green. And that is the paints that I pick up at Target. And then I've got Art Mind Sapphire, which I'm out. And then we have Delta Flash Metallic Purple. Now the Art Mind's Sapphire is a uh, color that's been discontinued or a brand, so I'm very sad. I'm gonna try to recreate this in another video and we will see what we get. I'm swiping with Primal Flow Ready Mix White Paint. You'll see I'm showing you the bottle here. Um, I really like swiping with these colors. I've since created some other paint that I love to swipe with. There's a few different white, black. I use all colors now in my new videos. But again, this was one of my very first videos. Because the painting, I actually just tried to sell it. I did resin it. Um, and Tara is so wonderful and allows me to um, put a painting in her room and um, I was not expecting it to sell so again Jennifer to my dear friend thank you thank you so much now I'm just putting a white um, uh, swipe layer at the top I used to do that I was extremely new and I would put my swipe layer down on top and either way is fine um, and you saw me earlier holding up a little tr drip tray that was from one of my old George Foreman grills and I decided to try to save some paint back in my earlier days. Also, I used to do all my paintings with these lines. I did all my swipes with these lines and I know you've seen I've really branched out and I do a lot of different techniques now. So I'm just gonna go through and um, I'm gonna get these paints laid down and then we will swipe. You'll hear some music on and off um, this is one of the earlier videos where I first used my Puffy 2000. Um, that Delta um, Flash uh, green is beautiful. Um, but I did have a wonderful time at FAE. The folks there are amazing. I made a lot of friends. Um, I want to thank my friends on this Tuesday night choo-choo. Holly from The Morning Poor, Joanne Ralston Art, then myself, and then Nate Bright Art. This is your Tuesday night with friends train and we are thankful to have each and every one of you here. For everyone that's new, please let us know what you think. Please come back next Tuesday. We love having everyone here to comment and it's just a really great time to be able to chat. Good, and now we're gonna take it up here in the edge and we're gonna kind of let it set in the white paint. I know you can see where it's all the way. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to pull. And again, what happens here is the base for your flowers. So I think that, I think that looks good. Hmm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit up I'm gonna take away the white top, I believe. We will see how this does. Let's kind of walk it. Takes a minute. It'll be interesting to see. Almost. 
almost there. Let's walk it again. Yeah, so I have a, it's a very thin layer of paint on this one. So we have to be very careful. Okay, so I am using some Primal Flow Black, and I'm going through now and just creating the um, areas that I think I want flowers. So when you see the amount of paint that I put down, um, typically that means if it's a larger dot, I'm going to do three or four petals, and if it's a smaller dot, it could be a single bud or um, two. Just depends on how the paint is spreading. On this particular canvas, I really push most of the paint. It's a very thin layer of paint. I always get a little worried that the canvas is going to um, show through when I do it this thin, but I can tell you when you have the right colors, if you can get it to a very thin consistency, they just, it turns out stunning. Okay, so I'm now just going to use a straw to start with. I haven't decided if I was gonna use puffy or not. It's always a test with how the flowers or the petals kind of blow out and look at that. That's what I was talking about when you can get the paint thin, not necessarily the consistency, but thin on the canvas. It doesn't always work though. It just depends on the paint. So it is trial and error, um, but I do this enough where I'm you know, really learning a lot about paint consistency, not only in the cup, but the thickness that's on the canvas as well. So I'm going through and making all the flowers, trying to create um, the uh, composition. So let's put some music on and come back when I get ready to do the um, stems. I'll see you there. Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Okay, we are going to put down our first stem here in a moment. All I do is use a palette knife, and um, sometimes I do the stems after it dries, but I think that this is going to hold the stems. I don't want a thick stem with these. Um, let me move it up here so you can see it a little bit, and um, I'm just going to go through and uh, use the palette knife. I dip it in the black paint, and then I gently just pull it in the angle that I want the stem. And always wipe it off, and it's real important that um, you keep the palette knife kind of um, at, a, at a 90 maybe um, angle at the tip so that um, you don't dig too much, but then as I pull it, I bring it down because there's paint all along the palette knife. Just a little tip there. Um, these petals are stunning. I really hope that Jennifer, I hope you enjoy this painting. It just warms my heart when I have somebody that purchases a painting and it hangs in their home. And I just can't thank you enough, but more humbly um, for liking my work. Um, it really, it really means so much to me. Um, I will be sharing some more pictures from FAE in one of my upcoming videos. This was really difficult. I got home and you know, we have Thanksgiving coming up, and um, I have a pop-up, I think, every weekend until Christmas, starting on Black Friday. So a little bit crazy in my house right now, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I just love doing this, and I love um, uh, these Tuesday night trains. So I, I really appreciate everyone. Um, and Tara, I, I just adore Tara. I probably will... Be going to with her on the next FAE. I cannot wait. Um, that is going to be in April, so watch for that information. Um, so I'm going through and just kind of making my lines, um, you know, just based on um, 
it's really on a look, your eye, what catches you when you're looking at it. And that's why, um, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, sometimes I do floating stems where they don't actually touch each other. Sometimes I do them after with a cake uh, decorator bottle that has a little tip. I also have a very fine paint bottle with a fine tip. Um, I've used metallic markers. I've used metallic Posca pens or just Posca pens. Um, there's so much that you can do. And um, these flower pops have become a part of my life. And I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be able to do them. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap up here and we will chat at the end. I will see you there. me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Okay, everybody, let's look at some dried results. I'm going to show you some up close, and um, I'm going to show you a picture of the new owner. Um, I am so happy to have been a part of FAE. I cannot wait to show you more photos. Please take a look at um, all of the artists. You're going to see a lot of pictures. Um, it was absolutely amazing.